Now it's time for our weekly series, Driver on the Street, where photojournalist Michael Driver goes out in our community, showcases the unique and inspiring things going on. Today, he teamed up with reporter Allie Bradley to meet a man from Darrington, showing us the true art of fly fishing. What an amazing day, I mean. And then this spot and that air you're breathing, and I can't imagine a, a better day spent. Equipped with his trusty gear and deep love for the river. It's almost a meditation. When you need rhythm to cast your line, and then the river has its own rhythm, and then you become in sync with that. The flow of this story, just like the rhythm of the river, coming naturally to Ben Miller. All right. Add a little more water there. The moment must be caught. In an artistic way. This moment on the Sauk River in Darrington. I'm wondering about if I should capture any of the rocks. Not a trout or a steelhead. Or some of the movement of the current. I want this to be a true story of what took place at this point in time. He grew up fishing here and along the neighboring Stillaguamish River. Fly fishing and painting are exactly the same thing. Looking at a river, it's nothing more than a moving palette of color. Now we're going to come in with that yellow. Creating and selling this extremely unique art quickly became his passion. I feel like if I did anything else right now, it's like giving up on who I am. <laughs> Pulling him from the steady teaching job he held for years in Darrington. If uh, I were working a nine to five and I were to die, what was that? existence was it what you wanted this makes me happy <laughs> ben has been creating one of a kind in the moment pieces there's a few drip marks in this i'm kind of appreciating because it's a part of the river along rivers here in washington and montana for three years now i make two decisions like when you open your fly box what size and what color the decision to come out here to a familiar spot runs deep for Ben. I used to have a camp right across, right across this very spot, right across the way. His dad Bud's adventures here on the sock inspired this piece. There's probably a lot for him to think about as far as this painting goes. His connection to these waters now that much stronger. <laughs> Listening intently to the river's story, writing his own one yarn tied cast at a time. The story on the sock from this day. I love how those two gel together. Successfully shared. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is my story. I still have no idea how he does that. I mean, the precision that he has. Big shout out to Allie Bradley for teaming up with me and doing an amazing job telling Ben's story. It should be noted, we actually went fishing that day. I caught two and Allie caught, well, I call it about half a fish. Do you have something unique, inspiring, a story that needs to be told? I want to hear about it. Send me an email at driveronthestreet at q13fox.com and also go to our website, q13fox.com slash driver to submit story ideas and watch other Driver on the Street stories. Guys, I'll go ahead and cast it back over to you. Yeah, Such I just love how story. happy he was the whole time. Yes, and know? actually, um, one of Ben's uh, paintings uh -huh. went up for auction at the Oso Memorial Benefit, and it went for $12,000. Wow, that's great. Yes, yeah. incredible. Beautiful piece. Too. Wonderful. Well, if you plan on flying next fall, you need to make sure that you're